Hello, my name is Edward and welcome to Python Programming, Episode 1. Today, we will be setting up your computer to allow you to program with Python on it. As you can see, there are several ways to achieve this. The first is to download Python from the Python official website. This is recommended because you get the official Python compiler. And the compiler is basically what translates the programming code, which is Python, into a language that the computers can actually understand, which is binary. I use the official compiler at least 99% of the time. However, during that other 1% of the time, and that's most often when I'm, when I'm using someone else's computer or I'm using my tablet and I, I want to try something out. Uh, during those times, I use an online third-party compiler. And th they're really useful because you can share, uh, share your projects very easily. So you can set up a link and you can collaborate with other programmers similar to how you would in a Google Doc. Uh, you're working on the same project and your edits are seen by the other collaborators in your group similar to how uh, they would see them in a Google Doc. Now if you are a Mac user, you are really lucky because you already have Python installed onto your Mac. Uh, so using the pre-installed terminal application you can easily access Python and it's really no hassle. So now I'm going to show you how to set up Python using each of these options. Let's start with downloading Python from the Python official website. To download Python, the first thing you need to do is to open up your web browser. Now once you have done this, go up to your address bar and type in the following URL, python.org. Now this will take us to the Python uh, official website and on the left hand side we'll see a rectangular menu and one of the options will be download. Go ahead and click on this link. So this will take us to the download page and we'll get the most recent version of Python at the top. And for me that is Python 3.3.2. Now this may be different for you depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, if you're running Windows just click on this top link and you'll get a wizard that will instruct you on how to install Python. Uh, if you're running Mac, uh, just if you're, you have to find out what operating system you're running. If you're running 10.6 and later, click on this link. If you're running 10.5 and later, click on that link. And for Linux, uh, you can figure that out. Now that you have installed Python, let's take a look at the Python environment that you should have. So you should have an application, a new application on your computer called Idle. And it should look something like this. And let's go ahead and open it up to take a look. So we'll get this console. And this is where we will be typing our code throughout this whole series of videos. Uh, so I'm going to run a, like a really quick test just to show you how it works. So I'm going to type in a very simple operation or uh, equation, 2 plus 2. And then I'm going to click Enter on my keyboard and I will get an output of 4. Here's a really quick demo of one of my favorite online compilers, REPL.IT. And on the left side here we have our text editor and I can, I'm can i going to type something really, really simple and quick uh, prompt and then when I'm ready to run it I come up here to this place, play symbol and I just click on it and we get our output. So as I mentioned before, you can share your projects with uh, people that you're working with. So I come over here to this save disk and I click on it. And then I'll get a link here and I can send this link to people that I'm working with or to myself and they can uh, kind of take off from where I left off. Now for Mac users, let's go ahead and take a look at the terminal application. The easiest way to find the terminal application is to use your spotlight search. So I'm going to go to my spotlight search in the top right corner and type in terminal. Oops, terminal. And uh, we should get this application. So let's go ahead and click on it. And to open up Python, we need just to type in Python into our console. And this is going to uh, this is going to set up Python. And now we can run our simple test and get our output. Thank you.
Now this concludes the first episode of an introduction into Python programming. I hope you have Python installed onto your device and are ready to dive into the actual code. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you and goodbye.